Grand, you know I get you the game, but like, but these motherfuckers, they don't even understand. Like, I'm trying to like, they, they they personalize these things so much, bro. This is happening to every artist, bro. I know these stories about every artist. This is one of the greatest journalists at all time. I know this nigga. I know exactly the business behind YB in the mirror and the whole YBN falling apart, bro. That's the shit that fans should know. I believe. Bro, because if y'all if y'all stop acting like it's over ego and emotional shit, it would make a lot more sense. Y'all, YBN was never owned by y'all. It was owned by some nigga who finessed y'all. Of course, of course, of course. Didn't Corday mention that? Yeah, I I, I dropped the YBN because we ain't own the shit. Yeah, I own the shit. Nigga signed y'all to a contract, fucked all y'all in the deal. Bro, that's fucked up. It's some lawyers. Name's like James McMillan. Go Google it. I'm sorry, James McMillan. I'm sorry, I'm telling you now. But the point what I'm trying to say is that, yo, you can't never stop the cycle of young black men getting in this industry and getting fucked over and finessed if you don't make this shit public. You can't act like this is some secret society. I don't get money off finessing these kids and finessing these people. Make the information. Educate people. Educate people. These are people who are negotiating millions of dollars of contracts with, with companies. They have real no representation. Bro, you think your homeboy from the hood, without him watching DJ Academics and other people, who's going to tell them what's what they're gonna run into? They're gonna walk into Interscope, and you're the hottest rapper, and they're gonna get, oh hey, this is our offer, for a deal. You see money that you've never seen before, and yes, money at that point is a couple hundred thousand. Matter of fact, these days I'm talking to a lot of people. They're not even offering niggas over 60, 70 grand if you really got a real buzz. But what's in the other terms of the deal? I bet. So cool. You get offered, offered that. Now, you straight from the hood. You got your man's who, yeah, he used to pay for some studio time. He don't know nothing about the industry. You know what they're going to do, bro? They're going to say, yo, here's our offer. Take it to a lawyer. Nigga, you don't know no entertainment lawyers. Most of the entertainment lawyers work with the same labels, too. It's a secret society, nigga. So now... You're trying to find an entertainment lawyer because would you would you can't go to your, your lawyer who works at your traffic tickets. You can't go to the lawyer who gets your your homies out of jail. They don't know what's going on in entertainment like that, bro. They don't know the they don't know the gimmicks, they don't know the games, they don't know how the finesse is, don't know how the negotiation goes. They don't know all that shit, right? So you're a new artist. This is how every artist gets fucked. So now you get lined up with the same, there's five attorneys, I could name all of them off the back of my hand, that pretty much work out 80% of the contracts. They're all in bed with the same fucking record labels that you're working against. Who you think they really represent? So bet, they sign you to this fucked ass deal, you think you probably got the best of it. You know why? Because you're getting money in the bank. But now, if you end up panning out, your second album, your third album, you're fucked, you're looking crazy, you're getting mad, and by your fourth album, you're like, you don't want to rap no more. You know why you don't want to rap no more? Because you realize you already spent all your advance, and the money that's still coming in, they're still telling you, oh, we're trying to recoup. Oh, we're still trying to recoup. You're like, well, I already spent all my money. They're like, uh, well, you could sign another deal, and we could give you another advance, which is another loan. That's just what it is. So that's what I'm just trying to tell y'all. I know. The common thing, they're like, yo, you don't get finesse, get a lawyer. Bro, do y'all know mad entertainment lawyer that work with that work in the music business? And what I mean by work in the music business, that really has an independent thing that works in the music business that only cares about artists. That they could walk into motherfucking Sony, Atlantic, and then be like, yo, hey, I know the industry standard of what y'all do with, with uh, um, uh, the industry standard for a deal is that Y'all ain't going to go above usually a 14 to 15% royalty rate. But based on my artists, look at this song going on TikTok. Look at these metrics, blah, blah, blah. Hey, we're going to go, um, matter of fact, we're going to go this way. We're not going to take this, bro. No, you're going to get railroaded. Even with your lawyer, your lawyer's just going to just make sure like everything's good. You're going to get railroaded. Nigga, these are billion dollar companies. What do you think these companies exist for? You think your little lawyer is going to finesse a billion dollar company? You think you finessed them because you just got, you're like, oh, shit, I ain't never think they, were, they was going to agree to the million-dollar deal. You're the dummy, nigga. They just gave you a million dollars in the hole. They own all your masters. They own part of your pub. You're in a 360. Damn, nigga, you signed for five albums. And, nigga, like, nigga, you are fucked. That's the point. I like to, 
to keep it real, I want to break down everybody's contract. You know why? To educate y'all. This ain't for me. I don't give a fuck. Don't you hear all your favorite artists complain about all that shit? Didn't me complain about some shit? Didn't you hear a young boy saying he hate Atlantic? He didn't he say he don't want to. They don't, they don't want to give him his masters. What you think that's about, bro? That's why I be trying to help educate some of y'all, but some of y'all y'all all about the foolishness, the foolishness. Things I'm telling y'all is facts. And even though y'all don't deserve it, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Let me let me let me, let me Google some shit. And for the real ones who care, here's a story for y'all. How you go? Okay, good. All this shit is, is set in stone already. I ain't saying shit that, you know what I mean? You see this shit right here? Remember when 6 9 went to fucking, fucking court? He comes out of court. He thought he was going to go to jail. He he comes out of court. They say, you can't hang with Treyway. No more Treyway. You can't throw up Treyway. It's over. Like, we don't want to hear nothing more about gang. Like, you pretty much about to violate this and third. 